Hey guys, I'm back for another Buster Keaton film review, and this time I looked at College. This came out on September 10th of 1927. It's only 66 minutes, fairly short movie. And the gist of it, Buster is the smartest kid in high school, and he has a stance about athletes. He doesn't like them. But after giving his speech, the girl he loves said since he has no respect for the athletes, she can't be with him. So he gets to college, he brings a bunch of outfits to try for different teams and tries to become an athlete. He brings baseball outfits, football outfits, track outfits, uh, just trying to, to learn how to play some sports and win her heart, showing that he can actually do this stuff. And, and he does try, although he fails miserably at everything he does. Now, there, there are a couple of cool things in here. There was a football scene that was supposed to have been filmed However, it, it must have been cut. I mean, there are scenes of him with the outfit. There are scenes of him dodging like you would if you were playing football. But I guess in the final cut, they ended up cutting the scene, supposedly not to compete with Harold Lloyd's for the freshman. Um, some, some fun scenes in it. There's a scene where he's doing a lean at the beginning of the movie, which is very eerily smooth. Uh, similar to the smooth criminal scenes that Michael Jackson had performed, which makes you think he may have gotten this from this Buster Keaton movie, which is really cool that uh, he would have seen that and mimicked that style. I mean, the athletic stuff is really fun. I've seen him fail over and over and over again. Uh, so th that is a, a highlight of the film. And this is the only movie where there's a stunt that Buster Keaton does not perform. <coughs> there's a pole vaulting scene at the end. And apparently, because of the tighter shooting schedule, he just wasn't able to learn the stunt. So this is the only time out of his films that a stunt double was used. So, but, I mean, look at everything else he's accomplished, I'm fine with it. But, definitely not a bad film. Like I said, being 66 minutes, it breezes by pretty quickly. I didn't mind it. Is it not my personal favorite one? Right now, it stands as the general as I work through these, but uh, it's still a fun movie. I'd give it three stars out of five, definitely. So just a good, watchable movie. But that's all right. That's all I got on this one, guys. Take care, and as always, go watch a movie.